Hi everyone, I am back with Aries reading for this week. We're gonna see what's happening for Aries this week, okay? So I'm gonna shuffle these cards five times to give Aries their message for this week, okay? And what is the energy around Aries? We're gonna ask God, universe, the angels, and all our ancestors to please give us the messages we need to receive for the zodiac sign Aries. And we're so grateful and thankful for all the messages we receive as always being thankful for everything that we get because everything that we get gives us an, an idea of where situations are going forward with okay or how situations are moving forward okay so we're going to shuffle these cards five times this is the first time this is the second and fifth let's see what's happening for aries this week we are so grateful for all the messages we receive what is happening for aries this week what is the message for the zodiac sign aries one fell in my bow and it's upright so let's pick it up and see what it is because it's definitely upright for you aries okay let me just see what that is. We're gonna check it out. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. We have the Ten of Cups. This is about home and family. This is about, you know, finding that happy place when it comes to home and family and relationships and things like that. The Ten of Cups is having everything you need in the home and family and feeling emotionally balanced there, okay? Uh, this is the first card out, so let's see what cards come after that because then we're gonna see what the storyline is, okay? But definitely focusing on all the goodness with home, family, or relationships, okay? What is going on here for Aries? What else is going on? We got the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is always some information, communication, something that is direct, right? Something that is gonna make you look at a situation very carefully. So the Page of Swords is always coming in to look at something, to observe it, to see what's going on, and to get the communi communication or the information they need in order to make a decision, okay? Yeah, so being very direct, you can hear, you see the little birdie? You see this little birdie on his shoulder? It's like someone is telling this Page of Swords something in regards to a situation. That's why the little birdie is there. That's why it is receiving, communicating, observing, and, see a, and seeing a situation for what it really is, okay? What else is going on here for um, Aries? What else is going on here for Aries? What other information do we have? We got the Four of Swords. Uh, putting back your energy, taking time for yourself, taking time to heal, taking time to recuperate. Maybe from a situation that there has been kind of like communication that has been cutthroat or kind of like trying to find yourself, trying to decide which way you're going, maybe trying to redirect yourself, maybe possibly trying to see things more clear when it comes to home and family or a relationship. Okay, so this is you looking at your emotional self in regards to home, family and relationships and taking stock of everything and really pulling back your energy so that you can decide the direction. We got a Knight of Swords here coming in, okay? So there is communication that is gonna be coming to you or information that you're gonna need to make a decision, okay? We do got the Ten of Pentacles here. So this is really, Ten of Pentacles could be about stability, okay? It could be about your finances. It could be about saving or maybe taking stock, right? And pulling back and working on your own inner stability and working to balance yourself out so that you can know the direction you're going, okay? What else is here for the zodiac sign Aries? What else is here for Aries? We get the five of swords that popped up face up. So there's a situation here, again, where you're feeling like you always have to defend yourself or another person is always feeling like they have to defend themselves or there's like erratic energy. Whenever the Five of Swords come up, I think of erratic energy here. Why? Because one is being felt like they lost something and another one is holding two swords and pointing one sword at the other individual who is down in the ground trying to get up and there's one other individual dead here. So you got three people here, right? Or not dead, just lay, laying hurt, okay? Let's say that because <laughs> that, that sounds kind of rough. 
So laying hurt here, okay? And what I see here that they could be a group of individuals or a situation where you feel that people are always trying to be one up on each other or trying to, you know, beat out the other one or trying to do better than the other one or trying to tell the other person what to do or trying to, you know, redirect their the energy to go in their way or what they want, okay? So this is an erratic energy when it comes to home and family and that's why you're pulling yourself back and trying to see which direction you're going to take or what it is that you want it's almost like do i want to remain with this do i want to stay in this situation what is it that i want to do how do i want to move forward with this okay could be you putting in you know what it is that you want and need and hoping that others follow along with you okay so this could be you redirecting that energy and being forceful about what you want and need okay what else is going on for aries what other cards we have here for the zodiac sign aries yeah, we got the um, Nine of Swords. So sleepless nights, wondering about situations, wondering if growth is going to happen, wondering if things are going to balance themselves out, wondering if a situation is going to create the growth that you're looking for. So you're being very direct, Aries. You're being direct about what it is that you want and need. You're putting your foot down. You're not dealing with anything or anyone unless they come into your energy. It's almost like, hey, you know what? Even though you're bringing me erratic energy here, I plan to put out what it is that I want and need and even cut out situations or people who are not following the direction that I want, okay? So it's almost you, st almost you um, thinking about, you know, is there growth here? What am I going to do with the situation that would continue to be in this type of energy where I have to state clearly this is what I want and these individuals are not following along with it, okay? So it's almost you're looking at a situation to see is there going to be growth? Is there going to be balance here? I'm wondering. I'm taking stock. I need to find out the information I need to cut a situation out or decide, hey, this is no longer for me. I'm pulling back my energy and re-observing and watching and taking stock of what it is that's happening around me, okay? And I want growth. Your communication could be is, I want growth. I don't see stability here, right? I want the growth that I'm searching for. I want what I'm asking for, you know? And I want the situation to work itself out that everyone mainly yourself feels fulfilled in it okay what else is here for aries what other information we have for the zodiac sign aries what else is here for aries we get the coins the king of coins okay so this is really you looking for growth stability for abundance uh, pentacles are not just money and finances. Pentacles tells us about the stability we have within ourselves and how stable we feel in a situation, okay? So here you are with this energy and you're trying to make it work and you're trying to really say, hey, you know what? This is the only way things are going to work out. This is the only way I see growth and I don't want to feel stuck. I want to grow and I want to feel like this situation is fruitful for me and that it's going to bring me the abundance and the stability that i am looking for okay so this is you really taking stock of something really looking at something and wondering if it's going to provide you the growth that you need you want growth you want that happy place you want to be feeling fulfilled you want to feel like this situation is working out in your favor one last card for aries and you're taking stock of everything and you don't want to be stuck in any situation you don't want to be stuck where you don't feel growth you don't want to be stuck where you don't feel the happiness yeah we got the king of swords here you could be dealing with an air energy uh we got the uh king of coins here also you could be dealing with earth energy along with your energy here um i feel like the overwhelming energy here is the the sword energy okay where someone can be like impossible to deal with and you want that stability with this individual or this person or this situation, okay? What else is here? And this person is also as direct as you are. They are stating also what they want and need, okay? One more card and then we're closing it off. There's two cards. Oh my God, it's almost towards the end. We got strength. You're gonna have to have the strength because this, this situation is gonna still have some hardship and instability and you're going to feel like you're putting in all the work okay uh there will be some kind of form form of stability coming in but very small okay 
Uh, but small is a start to something, okay? So that is your message, Aries, for this week, okay? Having the strength and putting in the work if you want this to work out, okay? Love and night.